For a long time, I've wanted to make an orbiting time-lapse rig for the camera. So I can do a shot where the camera is moving around what I'm doing, but it's also a time-lapse. I like the, the smooth movement of the camera with the, with the frenetic movement of the time-lapse. When I was first thinking about doing this, I was thinking I would have to make a track for the camera that would be curved and the camera would would ride around on the on the curved track and point towards the center. But then I realized I could do it with a camera boom and just have the, the boom rotate around a center. So the problem has been how to make the camera boom move or rotate slow enough, like really, really slowly. And I have a little geared motor that I can control the speed on it's still too fast. So what I needed to do is make some gears to slow that rotation down even more. So I got Matthias's gear generating program. And I'll put a plug in for that at this point. It's, it's a really nice little piece of software. It does exactly what you need it to. No, no, no more and no less. <laughs> so with that, I can make the drawings of the gears that I needed to make. I think I did a big gear with 80 teeth and a little gear with 8 teeth, so, so that it would be 10 times the gear reduction. So I cut those out. I started with my 3 8 inch bit, and I think it's getting a little dull, and I think I didn't have it really quite deep enough, and it was kind of splintering the, the plywood. And I did the teeth and the rest of the cutting with an 8 inch bit, and that worked really well. Now, I had made a couple of years ago a big cantilevered beam that hangs on the French cleat system in the shop. And it allows me to have a, a platform away from the wall for, for holding camera stuff. That's what I've used it for in the past. It's let me get the, the straight down views of the wood turning projects. But I thought I could mount the gear system to this. So I drilled some holes for the two axles I was going to need. And I could basically just glue the gears to those axles. I'm wondering now if I should have come up with a way to make the gears removable, because now it's sort of set on the end of my cantilevered boom. <laughs> and I got two little thrust bearings for the upper part of the gear systems to ride on. So there isn't a whole lot that holds the gears rigid, as in they, they can swing a little bit. So I'm relying more on everything being balanced and everything hanging vertically. But that seemed to be okay in the end. The gears and the axles don't spin real fast, so whether things are vibrating or wobbling doesn't matter a whole lot. Now in the motor I have, there's a little flat spot on the shaft. That's for a set screw to hold whatever pulley or gear you put on the, on the shaft. So what I thought I would try and do is make a little set screw that would fit within the wooden gear. So I took a regular pointed wood screw and cut off the end. Then ground a flat spot on that end. That flat spot on the end of the wood screw would press against the flat spot on the shaft and hold the gear in place and keep it from turning. And I hid the screw in between the teeth on the wood gear. It would, it would just fit down in between the space between the teeth. And then slide that on and rotate it to the right spot. Then put the the screw in place, and it seemed to work pretty well. The screw had to be just the right length, which took some going back and forth on the grinder. Now I attach the motor to the beam. I just stacked up some plywood to get it to the right height, and then I attach the motor to the edge of a piece of plywood. And I can attach the wires and the speed control, and it seems to work. Now I can mount the speed controller. And I found some posts from a computer build, and I can use those to attach the speed controller to the piece of plywood. 
Then you can see how the big cantilevered beam with the gears on the end of it attach to the French cleat system on the wall. So it just hangs and sticks out into the, the space of the shop. And now I need to make the boom for the camera. And I just cut two strips and I made a T section with those two strips so that it would be rigid both vertically and horizontally. I thought if I, if I just used a single strip of plywood it would have too much flex in it and the camera might bounce a little bit. So this was a simple section to make. And I just glued and nailed it together. Now the axle on the gear that this is going to mount to I left a little bit long and I actually thought that was going to be a problem but I ended up drilling a hole in the boom for that to fit into. And this helps me center the boom when I attach it to the gear so it's in the right spot. And I added a little piece of wood to mount the camera to. I'm just using my GoPro as it's nice and light. And it has its own time-lapse software built into it. Now I needed the boom to be balanced so I put a fulcrum right under the center or right right under the hole that I had drilled in the boom with the camera in place then I could move spring clamps around on the other end until the the boom was perfectly balanced on that center then I can put the boom in place and I just screwed it to the to the big gear and it seems to work. Now, in having it up and running, there were a couple of tweaks I saw that I really needed to make. One was that the, the little gear on the bottom was gonna hit the boom as the boom comes around. So I cut a little spot in the boom for that gear to fit through. And the other change I wanted to make was to move the speed controller down to closer where I am when I'm using the lathe and not way up in the air above the beam. When the whole system was down on the work table that made sense but now that the the beams up in the air having the little speed control way up in the air doesn't make any sense so so I moved it down on the wall and then ran a wire up to the up to the motor. So this is my, my first sort of full attempt to see how this worked. And it seems to work just fine. It's actually a lot smoother than I thought it might be. I was wondering if the boom would kind of bounce around as it, as it moves around, but it's, it's actually nice and smooth. The whole system's attached to the wall, so I'm not really bumping it as I work on the lathe or, or do whatever I'm doing below it. So it seems to work pretty well. I'm hoping to use it, but hopefully not overuse it. <laughs>